Do you mind if I steal this one away for lunch? Welcome to the Movie Summary Channel. If you like the featured video, please watch it in the theaters near you, or buy or rent the original movie from the links provided in the description. Like and share the video as it will help us out, and comment on what movies you like to be featured next. Movie Summary does not condone piracy, and follows and complies with the fair use law. Now, let's watch the featured video. Simply sit tight, relax, and enjoy the video. Be aware that there is heavy spoilers ahead. If things don't work out, Olivia, give me a call. Okay, that's it. You and me in the bathroom. I gotta see it right now. The film opens in California. Antonio Flores works as a valet. He rides his bike through a rally for city developer and billionaire Vincent Royce, who is planning a deal that would gentrify the neighborhood and take out many small businesses. Antonio continues to go and pick up his teenage son Marco, sharing custody of him with his ex-wife Isabel. He also lives with his mother, Cecilia, who is in a new relationship with their neighbor, Mr. Kim, who Antonio is uncomfortable with. Also in the neighborhood is Natalie, a bike shop owner who is friendly with Antonio. Later that night, Isabel arrives to pick up Marco. She speaks with Antonio privately, informing him that she is seeing a new man named Ronnie and that she owes $12,850 in payments. Elsewhere in the city is superstar actress Olivia Allen. After wrapping up a day of shooting, her assistant Amanda helps Olivia sneak around the paparazzi. Second time I got Lady Gaga. Got a cool fight. She goes to Vincent's home since they are having an affair despite him being married to Catherine, whose father owns the company he works for. However, Olivia starts to feel guilty about the affair and decides to walk out, even though Vincent insists that he really loves her and will leave Catherine for her. Olivia gets in her ride, but as Vincent runs out to stop her, Antonio rides his bike into the car. Oh man! This is my mom's car! As Olivia and Vincent help him up, a nearby paparazzo snaps a pic of Olivia. News later circulates that Olivia was seen in front of Vincent's house, sparking affair rumors just days before Olivia is set for the premiere of her latest film, Earhart, where she portrays Amelia Earhart. Catherine sees a photo herself and becomes suspicious, but Vincent convinces her otherwise. Fearing the loss of his fortune. You can always believe me. Look, I'd never do anything to jeopardize that. Vincent sends his assistant Daniel to locate Antonio and have him pretend to be Olivia's boyfriend to divert bad press away from him and Olivia. You're Antonio Flores, right? And she'll pretend to be in love with you. She, in turn, also agrees to the deal so there is no controversy overshadowing her movie premiere. Olivia meets Antonio at his job, where she kisses him in front of his co-workers, whose jaws all hit the floor. Showtime. She takes him out to lunch, where the paparazzi and other eager fans look on, giving off the impression that the two really are dating. Meanwhile, a private investigator named Stegman, hired by Catherine, shows up to take pics while another PI, Capor, is hired by Vincent to check in on Olivia. While at the restaurant, many snobby patrons mistake Antonio for the waiter and order water from him, which Olivia quickly fixes. Soon, Isabel finds out about Antonio's new relationship and becomes jealous. Antonio later joins Olivia for the Earhart premiere. This is good. This will work. 
Cecilia watches the news coverage at home with Mr. Kim and her grandchildren. Antonio is nervous and awkward with the reporters. ¿Por qué pone cara de menso? Yo, yo, yo me refiero... After the movie, Catherine approaches Antonio and questions his profession. Catching onto her condescension, Antonio stands up for himself and even tells Catherine she doesn't know Olivia the way she thinks she does. Antonio then finds Olivia very drunk. Too many pills? So he walks her through the kitchen to take her home with his brother-in-law, Benny. The kitchen staff, all Latinos, cheer on Antonio like their hero. The guys then take Olivia home. And let her sleep in Antonio's bed. After putting Olivia to rest, Cecilia tells Antonio about how she genuinely is in love with Mr. Kim, even though neither of them speaks English. In the morning, oh God. Good morning. Antonio's whole family shows up to be hospitable to Olivia, all wanting to hear stories from her and also helping her with her hangover. Isabel shows up and also questions how he apparently got successful with Olivia. After breakfast and taking a picture with the family, Olivia appears to part ways with Antonio so that they don't have to keep up the charade. However, Vincent overhears that Olivia went home with Antonio, so he orders that she continue to be followed. Olivia receives rave reviews for her film, but she finds herself lonely with nobody to celebrate her success with. She remembers that Marco is doing a school play, so she makes a surprise appearance and joins Antonio and his family. Afterwards, she hangs out with them at a restaurant, where Antonio finds out from Natalie that her shop is going to be closed when Vincent's development plans go in effect. Isabel starts trying to make out with Antonio until he comes clean that his relationship with Olivia is made up. One hundred thousand dollars? Oh, you get a hundred thousand dollars? Antonio and Olivia begin to walk home and bond as actual friends. <laughs> Capra joins Stegman once they find out what the other one is up to. And they follow Antonio and Olivia back to his place. Screw you! They stick out across the street. Quiet ain't gonna like this. And Olivia tells Antonio to pretend to have sex with her so they can record it since she knows the Royces sent them. Oh, she is wild! Later on, the two talk more, and Olivia expresses how she doesn't see her family or have many real friends. They then sleep together platonically. The next day, Antonio meets Isabel at the coffee shop, thinking she wants to get back together, but she just tells him that she is staying with Ronnie because Antonio always doubts himself and doesn't believe he deserves what he really does. How do you think that makes me feel? Antonio returns home upset, then argues with Olivia over how she used him for publicity and breaks up with her so that paparazzo can see. Vincent shows up since the P.I. showed him pics of Olivia supposedly having sex with Antonio, so Vincent punches him in the face and says he's not getting paid. Daniel later shows up to Antonio's job and gives him a check for $25,000, much more than what Antonio originally requested. Although he tries to decline the check, Daniel speaks to him in Spanish and believes Antonio deserves it. Remembering what Isabel said, Antonio takes the check. Gracias. Gracias a ti. Stegman and Capra continue to watch Antonio's apartment and see Cecilia with Mr. Kin. Things take a tragic turn when Cecilia suffers a heart attack. When Antonio meets the whole family at the hospital, his sister informs him that their mother is gone. 
The family holds a funeral for Cecilia. And Antonio delivers a touching speech in English so that Mr. Kim's daughter can translate for him and let him know how happy he made Cecilia in her final days. While at work, Antonio is stunned to see Vincent show up and not even recognize him. Realizing that Olivia is wasting her time with a jerk, he drives to her movie set. It's okay, guys. I got this. Where they reconcile and she offers condolences for Cecilia's passing. Olivia says she will break up with Vincent. Catherine later grabs Vincent's phone and uses it to call the number for Olivia, which Vincent uses a fake name for. God, I miss that hoodie. With help from Antonio, the ladies work together and expose Vincent's lies and the fact that he is embezzling. Catherine makes amends with Antonio and Olivia, and as gratitude, she honors Antonio's request to stop Vincent's gentrification plans. Since notification, the developers have changed their mind. Vincent is arrested, and the small businesses are saved. Stegman and Capra also become great friends, or maybe more, and move in together. Antonio starts dating Natalie. He and Olivia continue being friends and talk about his love life while the paparazzi and fans take pictures. Then the movie ends. Do you mind if I steal this one away for lunch? Thank you for watching our featured video here in Movie Summary. I hope you have enjoyed watching our videos. Please like and share this video on your social media and subscribe to our channel to help us grow. Comment down below on what movies you like to be featured next and click the notification bell so that you will be notified every time we post new videos. Bye for now and see you in the next upload of our next videos. Okay, that's it. You, me, in the bathroom. I gotta see it right now.